in addition to continued work on holography, ADS, CFT, and its yeah. offshoots, are high, en high energy particle physicists and string theorists still working on string theory at, or its yes. offshoots as a final theory of the world? <laughs> okay, I have a view of that, which my colleagues, you may have seen it on other interviews. I will say what it is here. I have a view of it which is probably uh, a little different than most of my colleagues, although by now they might, uh, they might have the same view. My view of it goes something like this. So there's this very precise mathematical structure. It includes M theory, it includes type 2B, type 2A, and so forth, and they're all exactly supersymmetric, and the supersymmetry is absolutely essential to their stability, to their rigor, to their mathematical existence, let's call it. There is absolutely no doubt, whatever, that that is not the theory of the real world. The real world is just not supersymmetric. Some of these people say, oh, okay, but we'll spontaneously break supersymmetry. Nobody has ever been able to do that. That has never been able to be... Uh, uh, so the, the, the real string theory that people know and understand and that the mathematicians consider, uh, and not just the mathematicians, the mathematical physicists like myself, uh, consider uh, precise, that is not the theory of the real world. It is definitely not. The real world is not supersymmetric. Okay, so what do people mean when they say string theory? And let's call it string theory with a small s now. They mean something that's inspired by the, uh, by the precise theory. Something which goes beyond it, something with bigger boundaries, and we just don't know what that thing is. We simply do not know what generalization of, string, of supersymmetric string theories are possible. We do not know. Nobody knows. There, nevertheless, that's the idea that there's some expansion of the boundaries of what string theory is beyond this capital S theory to, a, uh, to what I call small s string theory or string-inspired theory or um, that nobody has ever defined. I, I, incidentally, I'm a believer in this, to, uh, and that the real world is outside the edges of what we call capitalist string theory, but in some range of theories which is inspired, maybe even has strings, but all kinds of theories have strings in them, incidentally. Superconductors have strings in them. My shoelaces have strings in them. All kinds of things have strings in them. And not all string theories have strings. So whether a theory has strings in it or not is not the criteria for whether it's string theory. Uh, spaghetti has strings. Okay, so my view of it is we don't know how the real world is connected to this very precise string theory. So what is the value of then of the precise theory? Well, first of all, perhaps it will um, inspire uh, a generalization, it may, but if nothing else, it has taught us with certainty that quantum mechanics and gravity can coexist. That all of these paradoxes, like Stevens paradox and the paradox of infinities and all that stuff, that, uh, that tell you that quantum mechanics and gravity cannot coexist, they were all wrong that we know with certainty now, because of capital S string theory, that quantum mechanics and gravity do coexist and can coexist. That's been the main output from it. Mm -hmm.